side, today's video is gonna be a Halloween makeup tutorial and as you notice from my costume, today I am the Red Riding Hood and yeah, you also maybe notice my scars on my face, yeah this was the big bad wolf and the hood so if you like this video and you wanna know how to recreate this look then please keep on watching, bye bye! So the first thing that you have to do is to clip your hair back because it's going to be really messy. So just take your hair and bring it to the back. Then the next step are the eyes. And for this makeup we want to create a really soft and natural makeup look. Because our red riding hood was actually a little girl in the book in the story, so we want to recreate that natural look that uh, a little girl has. So just start with the eyes and I'm gonna take a brown pencil and I'm gonna use it as base as primer for the eyeshadows. I'm gonna use it all over my lid like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because we gonna blend it so just like that and also on the other eye so just like that then just take a brush to blend the to blend the pencil the eye pencil So, just like that. Um, yeah, the important things to this look are, of course, the scars that we're gonna create on our skin. So, we have to keep our look as neutral and natural as possible. So, please use a really matte tone, no sparkles, no glitter. Uh, I would suggest to use uh, maybe a little of black or beige, white. Uh, brown also as I'm doing but really don't use pink or blue or green because it really wants it will not match with your scars and we just want that our the complete attention are uh, on this part where you're gonna make your scars so yeah let's keep on doing and I'm gonna bring the brown eye pencil also a little bit here just to give a little bit more of dimension to the eye but really really gently and soft so we're gonna blend it also a little bit Now we're gonna take another brown eyeshadow, I mean the a brown eyeshadow, and we can actually use the same brush as we used before for the eye pencil. I'm gonna just take it a little bit and push it and press the color, the powder, all over your lid where you apply the eye pencil before. So and if you press the color, it would it will stay longer on the lid. Then we're gonna take a clean brush and we're gonna blend it a little bit so the lines are not too harsh. Bad. Then the next color that we're gonna take are a really neutral beige or you can also use white if you want. And with a another brush I'm gonna take it and use it as highlighter right here under the brow bones and I'm gonna use just a little bit and blend it with the brown beneath that So 
So the eye makeup is finished. We're just gonna use a, a mascara and then it's finished. So as you, as you can see, it's really, really simple to do that. So use your favorite mascara. So the makeup is almost done. If you want, you can also add some false lashes or maybe just corner lashes. It's up to you. But I prefer to keep it really natural and simple this makeup look. So yeah, the next things are blush, and I've got here a really pretty red blush. So you can see, I'm gonna take it, a big amount of product, and gonna push it. Yeah, and I'm using also a blush without glitter with a matte finish. So we're almost done with the makeup. The last things that we're gonna apply is a lipstick. And I'm gonna use a really nice matte uh, red lipstick. And here says we're gonna. I'm gonna use my finger and just take it a little bit like that. And I'm gonna tap the finger on my lips because have also it doesn't have to be perfect to have a perfect line on the your lips. It just has. We just use the red lipstick to give you the more color on your lips so just do that like this so the makeup is finished is complete now and finally we're going to do the funny stuff so to do this cast you just need three important things the first things is of course uh, Derma, derma wax and this is uh, just a uh, wax of your color but you can also use um, there are some kind of latex and you can also mix it together and it's actually it makes the same effects and wax and this is from the brand Grimas and it's really really good quality wax that you, wax that you can use on your face and as you can see, I bought a color that is quite matches my skin tone because so it's just simple to smudge it on, on to smudge it on your face. Then the next product is of course fake blood, and I bought this butter. This is also the same brand from the um, a derma bra uh, wax, and this is from Grimas. The next thing that you need is something to take you the wax from the container and I've got here, I'm not, I know I am totally not professional with that, but this is the only thing that I have. So uh, this is just a plastic tools, it's actually, it's actually for it, but it's okay, just need it for a brief time to put it on your face and then you can just leave it. So, um, the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a powder and this time I'm gonna, it's actually a little bit darker than my skin but it's okay and with a brush I'm gonna take it a little bit and put it all over the area where you want to place your um, scars because, so if you put um, a powder under the wax is easier is easier to remove that to remove the the scars I mean so. so now with your tools just take a, a, a small amount of product and like that, that is okay for uh, your for, for your first car. Just take it, roll it a little bit with your fingers 
and then just place it where you want to have your first scar let's say here and then with your fingers you have to push the product into your skin so it won't move for all the night that's like that I know it doesn't look pretty at all but yeah so Then for the next scar, we are actually doing the same process for each scars that you are going to do on your face. So we just repeat this process. When you're done with placing the wax, you've got something like that. It actually looks scary even now, and we don't have the fake blood. So yeah, it's gonna be really scary for your friends to look at that. And it also looks not so pretty. So now we've got, we are going to take back the, our plastic tools. And what we're gonna do, we cut uh, we actually cut in the middle of each scars. So here we are. Here we are, and yeah, we're almost done. The next thing, the really really funny stuff, is the thick blood. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take that. And it's better if you don't put it directly directly on your face, but it's better if you maybe put it first on your finger or just take and back the tool that you use this for. And I recommend you to put a towel beneath. Uh, the, your, your face because it's gonna be a little bit messy just take the blood like that and put it where you cut the wax before like that So, when you're done with your fake blood, we're gonna create a little bit more of dimension to our scars. Uh, and so you're gonna just take a bronzer, uh, without sparkles of course, like that. Or you can also even use uh, a matte brown eyeshadows, and that's what I'm gonna do. So just take the brown eyeshadow and with uh, a br the brushes used before for the eyelid we're gonna take the eyeshadow and actually place it where you put the wax. I mean, um, wait, I'm gonna show you from a little bit closer. So as you can see, the wax just start from here, 
So we're gonna put the eyeshadow a little bit like here on the roof from your from the the scale like that. See that? And just bring the color on the outside from the of the scars. Oops, so just like that. See? And I swear to you, uh, from the camera it really doesn't look so good, but I mean it actually looks really natural. But in the mirror it's But in the mirror it looks fabulous. It just looks how, I don't know, it looks incredible and it's really scary and it, I think it's just perfect for your carnival. And, oops, I'm sorry, <laughs> just perfect for your Halloween. Yeah, and um, so we are finished. Just take your hair in the front, like that, and I would recommend to pin your hair here. Because, yeah, you don't want that auto blood uh, in the night is gonna end up on your hair, so, yeah. So, um, here we are. So, the makeup tutorial is finished. I hope you like it, and if you did, please give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.